I've always really enjoyed creative dressing and I think that most of us do. We start off our lives feeling this sense of freedom with what we put on our bodies and we don't care how it looks, it's just how it makes us feel. And of course you evolve as, as a human and you notice things, you notice advertisements, you hear comments, and you start to develop this self-consciousness about what you wear. When I get dressed in the morning, it's really important for me to use that to sort of tell the world who I am. Fast fashion has at its root a goal of making us feel less than. The corporation's goal is to make us feel that in purchasing an item, we will gain a form of self-acceptance or self-love, and we will feel competent. With all these sort of human needs that we have, their goal is make us feel that we need to purchase. So it's not a human-friendly process. Slow fashion means being intentional about what you put on your body, being intentional about choosing pieces that you like, that serve a purpose for you and that make you feel good. For me, it's existing in opposition to the world of fast fashion where things are made very quickly and consumed very quickly and discarded very quickly. Sewing pieces you know you're gonna wear, you're gonna spend less, you're gonna be consuming less. You're also doing that really deep work of thinking of why is this here? Because if you're putting your hands on it and you have so many touches on it, it means something to you. And I want everyone to feel that way. <laughs> I think that it's a real responsibility to clothe ourselves both with love for our own bodies, but also keeping in mind human rights and sustainability and all these other infractions that, that the fast fashion industry is forcing upon us as a society. Sewing allows us to step back and slow down the process. It's a time for me to take time just for myself where I can sit down and cut something out and really think about what I'm doing. The fashion industry is notorious for making women feel bad about themselves. But one thing it's taken me a while to realize about sewing is kind of the superpower of it is making clothes to fit your body instead of trying to get your body to fit the clothes. Fitting a pattern to work for your body, it's emancipating. So the Mindful Wardrobe Project came about because I wanted to bring us back into touch with slow fashion practices, slowing down in order for sewing to be a practice of self-care. It was really a course about thinking about how to make sure everything in your closet is something that you wear all the time. So in the course, we talk about making time for slow fashion and slow making and also how to set up your sewing studio, how to choose long wearing high quality fabrics that make beautiful clothes, how to mend what you already have. I want other people to know that clothing should make us feel good, that fashion is, is for you, it's not for other people. I want people to know that they're worth the time that it takes to make your wardrobe you because that's your first presentation to the rest of the world. I want women to feel like they can fully express themselves and feel super empowered by making their own clothing. And I also want to do it in a way that takes into account sustainable practices so we can both feel good about ourselves and about the impact that we're having on the earth.